In this video, let's quickly look at the costs again. We have set fixed costs for all electrical equipment, indeed something unrealistic, but the rest of the resources should be priced per unit generally. There is no easy way for pricing, but it can be simplified. Let's change the view mode to custom and add few more columns. Let's insert unit type. As per unit type, we have plenty of choice. First on the list is a foundation slab, so its unit type will be cubic meter, cost type per unit, and the cost for one meter cube, let's say it's $50. Let's see this resource properties. We have a parameter called structural material. So let's go ahead and add materials. Now we can filter all our resources based on the type material. Click over the cost cell. While holding the control button down, pull it down by the right bottom corner. And save for cubic meters. Another alternative is to select all material tasks and copy them to the Excel. The only thing you should take care about is correct spelling of unit types and cost type. We can filter the rows based on the material name. And the same way we can copy the values and fill down the table. For example, our steel structures will be measured in tons. Let's see how it's spelled correctly. Stone. Also per unit. And the price will be 1000. After the prices have been assigned, copy only the values you are interested in. So it will be our unit type, cost type and cost. Select and copy. In Synchro select the same table Click over the cell where you want to paste the data. Make a right click and paste as text. Now let's select this task, the cell W1, and see assigned resources. Go to task properties and see that six walls have been assigned to it. The type is meter cube as planned units here and in the resources. We have budgeted cost of $30, but planned units not set, so it's default as one cubic meter. Let's open the volume column of the resources. So basically we need to transfer these values to planned units per each assigned resource. Again, it's possible to do manually, but it will take very long time and will cause many errors. So for example, we have 10.2522 meter cube, Let's type it in, and you can see the budget cost changed. In order to automate this process, we will use Synchro script. The idea is to copy values from resource user field volume to the planned work cell, but since not all of the resources measured in meter cube, we will filter gun chart by concrete and select all visible tasks. Go to the project controls and open Synchro script. Let's add a new one and name it as assigned planned work. So our script will do the following operation. We are targeting tasks, only selected ones. And we will do assignment. by setting a property. The property will be planned work. And the value should be taken from resource user field volume.
Let's press preview. For assigned human resources, like concrete crew, this operation is not applicable. But it also seems like some elements have missing volume property, like this one, structure of columns. We can review this resource from the task name is structural columns and the resource name is structural columns. Let's close our script and check the resource. Select structural columns task and select assigned resource. And let's see its properties. It seems like we don't have any volume for this resource. This probably happened because we have multiple columns assigned to this activity. Like we have a concrete column here and some steel elements. So we can take a concrete volume from the GAN chart. So let's insert this volume. And let's do the same for stairs. And execute the script. And again, for assigned material resources, we have modified the argument, but for the human resources, the arguments cannot be modified. Now we can quickly do the same for the steel. Now our plant value graph is more realistic. And if we go to the task properties, we can check the total cost of the task and the total cost of the project. The project costs. 